say thank you. Good evening to each and every one of you. How are you doing and how is your week going? Again, uh, if it's been going a little rough, we're here to bring you a thought full of positivity on this wonderful Tuesday. Take this moment now as you're coming up uh, to like, to comment, please share, share, share on your various pages uh, as well as on YouTube and our other various mediums as we bring you another wonderful word on this thoughtful Tuesday. As we take this moment to prepare to go into our evening prayer, uh, take a moment now to share any prayer requests, uh, prayer concerns, any praise reports. Again, um, as we are now uh, you know, dealing with and sharing uh, in this wonderful season of Lent, um, our thoughts, our minds become more focused uh, as um, we seek to walk with Christ uh, on the way to the resurrection. So as we take this moment now um, to share our evening prayer, Lord, we thankfully bless you that you do all things well. We thank you for this opportunity that as we come forth this evening for the various households, uh, families, brothers and sisters who are calling who are sharing, who are caring, who are receiving um, in instances and ways uh, that are just pleasing your sight. Strengthen them, Lord, because so many individuals need hope and help uh, in these trying times. And so as you bless us, allow us to be a blessing to millions upon millions. And as we go forth in sharing um, these wonderful positive words, uh, that it will uh, share and seek uh, to be motivating and encouraging in the lives of men and women uh, that are tuning in to this webcast. Uh, bless us, strengthen us, and keep us as we share this mighty word. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. What are we dealing with this evening? I heard you loud and clear, and I'm glad you asked. We're dealing simply with the word focus. F-O-C-U-S, focus. Uh, follow one course until successful. Focus, that is the season and the reason for this Thoughtful Tuesday as we're going forth. Focus, follow one course until you are successful. So as we share in focusing, how do I focus? You know, I heard that question too. How do I focus? How do you focus? Well, let me share with you some thoughts uh, that spiritually we have heard and we take into consideration in our own lives. Um, number one, don't mistake in the darkness for forsakenness. Don't mistake in the darkness for forsakenness. Many times when it's dark, we feel that God has forgotten us or God has left us. Listen, sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but you've actually been planted. That's important. Sometimes I was discouraged, I was embarrassed, I was hurt, because it was dark. And because the darkness, I thought I was experiencing forsakenness. And when I realized after I came out that God was strengthening me because he had planted me. And so therefore, because it's dark, don't mean he's left you, but he's buried you and planted you. How do you know? This is what the word of the Lord says. They will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Wow, mm -hmm. that's right in Psalms. So you've got to understand and realize that what God is trying to do, and even during the seasons previously, he was simply planting you. Remember, what is our goal right now? To focus. So you need to focus on that. The darkness is not forsakenness. The darkness is simply you being buried and planted that when you grow you should bear fruit much fruit and fruit that will last ah he also says those that go out weeping carrying seed to sow will return with songs of joy carrying sheaves with them 
Remember that old hymn? We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Number two, and being focused, you have a choice to become a victim or victor. See, I've been fighting all of my life. I'm not a survivor. To put that word aside, you have to say, I am a warrior. I am a warrior. The word of the Lord says, what then shall we say in response to these things? I mean, all the stuff that we've been going through. If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.31. Remember, you're not a victim. You're a victor. So therefore, as you go forth, you know, you just talking about, I survived this, I survived that. If you've survived more than one thing, you're not just a survivor anymore, doggone it. You are a warrior. Why? Because you have gone through 100% of everything you've experienced. Number three, it's not how, it's what. And being focused, it's not how, it's what. When people ask how, are you making it? Allow your answer to be whatever it takes. That's important. Romans 8.37 says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. He also says, uh, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith we must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. That's Acts 14, 22. So as you are going forth, remember, it's not about how you're making it. It's just like whatever it takes. I'm making it regardless. You know, if, ands, or buts about it. Why? Because I'm focused. Following one course until successful. Next point I want to share is control self and not situations. Stop trying to calm the storm. Calm yourself because the storm will pass. The old song of the church says, encourage my soul and let us journey on for the night has come and I'm far from home. But thanks be to God, the morning light appears. The storm is passing over, hallelujah. So therefore, don't control the situation, control yourself. The scripture says, you dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 1 John 4 and 4. In the book of Isaiah it says, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow. When you walk through the fire, and you will walk through fire, you will not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you. Wow. Remember, this is what God has called you to do. And how can you do it? How can you walk through the water? How can you walk through the river? How can you walk through the flames? It's because you are focused, following one course until you and you and you have become successful. I think that's enough thoughts for this Thoughtful Tuesday. You have joined us, and many of you, this may be your first time, and many of you finally decided, I need more of this. I need the Spirit in my life. I need to be connected to a church family. Repeat these words with us. Dear Lord, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you today to become the head of my life. Please forgive me from all of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me. And three days later, you were raised from the grave. And because I believe, I am saved. Now, Lord, please fill me with the gift of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Somebody, somewhere type, I'm saved. Now, let us take this moment to share in the sights and sounds of St. John the Mighty Fortress.
Uh, again, thank you so much for sharing the sights and sounds. And again, as we share on every Thoughtful Tuesday, if there are sites that you desire to share of St. John in worship, you with us, where you are worshiping now all across the globe, please send them in. Hit our website, www.stjohnsavada.org. Also, uh, you can share them uh, with the email that is right on your screen. And thank you uh, as you've been committed uh, as we've been going forth uh, through this season of worshiping God in spirit and truth right here virtually. And so as you take this moment now for those of you uh, who desire to share uh, in the 3T ministry, and that is simply the time, talent, and the tithe here at St. John, the Mighty Fortress. There are several ways to give to support the ministries of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress, your time, talent, and tithe. We've made virtual giving so easy. Just text St. John SAV to 73256 and follow the prompts. That's St. John SAV 73256 and follow the prompts. Or you can call the number right on your screen to speak to someone and give your credit card information. 912-844-1872. That's 912-844-1872 or feel free to mail in your cash, donations, and tithes to St. John Baptist Church, The Mighty Fortress, 2415 East Duran Avenue, Savannah, Georgia, 31406. And to give your time and talent or to find out more information on everything going on at St. John, The Mighty Fortress, including our virtual worship experiences, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Periscope, or go to stjohnsavannah.org. Blessings again to each of you and thank you for sharing in your commitment, uh, in your time, in your talent, and in your tithe here at St. John the Mighty Fortress. Um, we have so many volunteers uh, who have shared uh, throughout the course of this past year uh, in beautifying our campus, uh, making sure uh, that we're coming in and out properly and orally. Uh, many of you are watching us and you would like to be present um, physically as well. We are still worshiping um, in a safe uh, and wonderful space and place on the beautiful campus. And if you want to give um, your time and your talent as you've given your time, please, again, hit that website so you can receive more information. Again, uh, as we go forth over uh, every Tuesday, as you've shared with us, also tune in to WSOK. Um, that is our 7 o'clock radio broadcast. That is the Sound of Savannah, even one of the longest uh, gospel radio broadcast in the nation where you can hear the traditional worship experience from 7 to 7.30 of Pastor Lee and St. John the Mighty Fortress. As you continue to watch us um, every day for a Mighty Fortress moment right on Facebook, uh, again, to God be the glory of you joining in with us. And again, Sunday mornings for those of you that are early risers, we're right there rising with you. Amen. Smiling with these pearly whites that are mine. Uh, with morning manna, morning manna. Again, just a wonderful brief word to get you along um, your beautiful Sunday. And for those uh, that are in our area, in our region, uh, we continuously invite you to worship safely uh, during this season of COVID-19, right uh, where you are in the family car. Um, the beautiful campus of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress, 2415 East Darren Avenue in the soul of Savannah. And we are going to be soon celebrating a year worshiping outside. And we give God all the glory. And we welcome you to be a part of this awesome worship experience from 10 o'clock to right at 11 that you're able to get your praise on riding your car. God's blessings to each and every one of you. And remember, um, as we go forth in this season, it's about focus, focus. Follow one course until successful. Until we see you again, remember that all is well. Oh, we are to praise today because you are worthy. We lift our hands to say thank you.